Hello and welcome to Kimball Curiosities. And today I have an exciting announcement. Hersha has released a new 3D printer that everybody has been expecting at Format Form Next in Frankfurt, Germany. They have showcased it and now have revealed what it looks like and what its potential uh, printing capabilities are. Um, it's after watching a video of it, it is amazing. This is going to change the way 3D printers are going to be made. Uh, they upgraded the printer head. They increased the size of the Persia. It's called the Persia Extra Large. Uh, it's it's phenomenal. It's getting rid of the zero Z axis calibration. The new printer head will get rid of the zero axis calibration that you must do from time to time that is a eye opener that if this works the way it's promised is going to open up a whole new world for individuals that don't have to sit there and fight that i know that for a fact so let's have a look at what they revealed take a look it's the original persa xl now it's expected to be out in the quarter, uh, sec, uh, 2020, the second quarter or third quarter. They are taking pre-orders, but the difference is, is you don't have to pay the whole thing. You can put a deposit and then when your order is up, then pay it. Now this is what's really interesting is, okay, here's the picture of it with a single head. Let's move to the next. Large size volume, which is great for people. It's 36 by 36 by 36 in uh, centimeters, centimeters. Uh, yeah, centimeters, centimeters. So let's take a look here. Look at that. And it now can be have five printer heads, five printer heads that it automatically goes in, pulls them out. And so now you don't have to sit there and pull and, um, out the filament put in a new filament if you only have a single head or just limited by two heads this now gives you up to five printer heads that it automatically goes in selects it brings it out and puts it down this is going to be an eye changer if it works really well i you know i'm impressed i'm impressed now let's uh get on the main thing is that they change the whole way their extruder works which is going down here, say goodbye to the live adjust Z axis. When designing the XL, we left no stone unturned. The next extruder, which is a new generation of 3D printer extruders with built-in electronics featuring a dedicated CPU and a stepper driver directly in the print head. The next extruder is controlled through a single conductor cable for easier maintenance. Fans, thermistors, heat blocks, and extruder motor this all connects directly on the board inside the printer head. This, this completely redesigns the extruder assembly, allowing us to implement a fully automatic first layer calibration for an always perfect first layer. Uh, the other thing is, is that uh, uses the nozzle to probe the printer service. They have, can utilize a load system to perform incredibly precise height calculations for the first layer. Uh, yeah, no live Z, no manual adjustments. The XL delivers a perfect smooth labor layer. What's even better is the filaments are no longer pushed by two small gears. Instead, we're introducing a brand new zero backlash cycloid gearbox, 20 to one ratio with a large no slip drive gear. Uh, and then, uh, and all down here, there's more the nozzle and the hot and are hot swappable it's hot swappable like this is if it pro produces what it's promising is going to change the world of 3d printing it's going to open up a whole new avenue of great 3d prints <clears throat> the xl allows you to pull the entire brand new hot bed assembly out of the extruder without a need to disassemble it we've also added another thermistor to the hot break, which allows to adjust the temperature according to the material specs and also detects heat creep. Uh, you know, um, the other thing is, is that they're introducing rigid core XY. Oh, sorry. By the way, this is a core XY um, 
printer, but uh, there also uh, are module 3D uh, plates. So basically, instead of one large plate, you have a bunch of individual hot plates and based on your print size, will heat accordingly. So well, you don't heat the whole bed, you can only heat the small bed, portion of the bed, so that you're not worrying about uh, um, power usage. Um, it's, man, phenomenal. Uh, it, I don't know what to say. It's, when I saw the video of it, let's, let's quickly go through the video here. I'm gonna go like this, go like that. Like that. Let's, uh, let's find. Like it, it will put the old plate on, but this is the thing right there. And I get rid of this. Why does that come up here? Let's go back here. Original, right there. That's the new extruder right there. This gearbox is the new thing. It's the way it works. Now, some of you may not like the Core XY uh, design, but um, I honestly haven't tried it, so I can't say. Showing different prints here that it can be done. That is just, you know, Modular bed design. 16 independent heat zones. Uh, preheat just the print area. You don't have to, like, it just, it can go, you know, dink, 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 whatever you need. Uh, this is, this is the reason they say, you know, like, I don't, I've never experienced it that it's that much of a warp, but that's the, the design. Now, my only concern would be when you're printing over the gaps is what I'm, because the gaps are there so that when it expands and contracts that it uh, don't, doesn't form the warping. Uh, oh, sorry, I, I got it wrong here. Okay. So, ah, now I've got it. Ah, the print, this bed here is in all he, ah, okay. I thought this was the printer head, but no, that's not it. That's the main bed. Awesome. Awesome. So, so, okay. Okay. I, I got that now. Now here's the next extruder. This is what I, see that? Look at that. That's the way it works. One, one gear. Large gear with these rollers here and pulling it down. This is going to be, you know, going to change the way it is. See, that's that's what you commonly use. And you what you notice when you get your filament pulling out, that it, the gears have dug in a bit in the filament. Some people have had issues with that. So far, I haven't. So jam detection with load sensor. So that was the description. They said that it will detect the jam as it's going and then tell you ahead of time instead of you uh, watching for that jam if it happens. And this is the, this is the hot swappable. Log it out, pull it out, and you slap in your new one. I'm telling you. This, this is going to change the way the, the new 3D printers are coming out. And also they are saying that um, the cards, the, uh, the cards for operating it are going to be hot, uh, swappable, easy swappable. So if you only went with one extruder and decided you wanted to get all five, all you have to do is take out your card, put in a new card, put plug everything in, and boom, away you go. Of course, they're color three, you know, three D. Just going through here, just showing you, like, oh, you know, this is pretty good. I'm, I, uh, I'm at 
you know, pre-order starts now, refundable deposit at 200. Now here is the cat's meow. Here's the cat's meow. Watch this. Look at that. Five printer heads. Instead of one, you know, two separate printer heads that are moving back and forth, these are all, and it goes in, clicks in, puts it in, puts them back. I'm telling you, this, this is going to be interesting. This is, um, it's going to be nice. I I'm I can't wait to get my hands on one of these. I really can't. You hear that, Persia? If you can send me one, I would like one. <laughs> I would definitely do a good review on that. Um, I was you saw on my channel that I had the Creality uh, CR10. I was looking at the Persia, but because of the print volume, I just uh, didn't want it because I want to make bigger projects than what the the uh, original Persia had. Um, and uh, so it's going to be interesting. Look at that. Like that, that alone, having five different heads and being able to do multicolors is going to make things change dramatically the way this head works. Now, there's, of course, going to be some issues, brand new, uh, but this will be interesting to see how it works. Um, I, I can't wait to, to see if I can get my hands on one and uh, test it out and give my feedback on it. Um, I'm just getting into the 3D printing stuff and started doing doing that. But um, man, this is this is phenomenal. The uh, next the, the next step is as I said. So as you can see on the website is the one one head assembly is two thousand bucks. Uh, that's Canadian, I would assume, because I'm in from Canada. Uh, the next one, the two head assembly, five head. Not, you know, like $1,000 more. If semi assembly, fully assembly, they charge an extra 500 bucks. But 3500 Um, You know, but you can put your pre order in and it's only 200 bucks. Hey, who, who can argue with that? If you want to check out uh, more information about the original Persia XL, well, there is a blog that Persia has put out. It's done by Joseph Persa. 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 <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> uh, he goes over the specs and gives, of course, a video that I just played. Uh, tells you a lot of the build, uh, what's upcoming on it, what can be done. I'll, again, like I said, post a link down below to this blog. Yeah, if you're interested, check it out and come back to this channel, like I said before, for a hopeful review of this when it does get released. Take care and peace out.